Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at the different tasks that you can use YOLO V8 for. We can basically just use it directly with Ultralytics. You can do classification, detection, segmentation. You can also do object tracking and post estimation. So you can do all these five different tasks here. In this video, we're going to take a look at it. So let's not jump straight into the Ultralytics documentation. Let's go over the task first of all, and then I'm going to jump into a Python script just to show you guys how we can run the different tasks directly. So we can see that we have classification if you just want to classify and single image. We also have detection if you want to detect specific objects in your scene. We can also do segmentation where we'll get the mask for all the, all the objects that we want to segment out. You can also do object tracking where you basically just do tracking over time. So instead of doing predictions on individual images, you track the optics over time and also post estimation where you detect these key points in the human body like elbow, arms, shoulders, knees, hips and so on. And then you can have this post estimation as well. So here I'm just going to scroll through it. We can just see the detection examples, segmentation examples, classification, and also post estimation here. Right now, let's just jump into a Python script and see how easy we can run this. We have the examples. I've just copy pasted them directly. We can then from Autolytics import YOLO. So we can create an instance of the YOLO model. Then we just need to specify the path to our model. We can use a directly pre-trained one, but we can also load in our own custom model. If you're running this program here for the first time, it will download the model to start with, so you don't have to do anything. Then we're just going to specify a URL here to an image. You can also use an arbitrary image. It could be a NumPy array, PLL image, um, input source from the webcam, video source, and so on. You can specify that we want to show the image and also that we want to save it. So right now we can basically just go up and run our program and we should be able to run optic detection directly. So this is one of the tasks that you can use YOLO V8 for. We saw the results here. Let's go over in the left. We then have our predict. So we go inside our runs. We can see that the results have been saved to runs detect predict two. So let's go inside that one. Here we can see the results. So this is basically the optic detection that we're doing. We're detecting like persons here. We can even see that this person here, we can only see the arm, but we still detect that it is a person with a fairly high confidence score. Also here, so we take four persons and also a boss. We can also go in and specify segmentation. So now we can just run segmentation directly. So this is how you can swap between different tasks with Ultralytics. There we go. And our results are now saved. So we can go up into our runs again. Now we are inside our segmentation. We can now see the, the boss here for the segmentation. So here we can see we are not detecting or we even detecting a tie here with a fairly low confidence score. This is probably not a correct prediction, but it will most likely be filtered out if you have like a confidence score threshold, which is often the case. We can see the nice segmentation mask here around the boss, nice confidence scores again, all the segmentation mask around the people. So to run classification, we just need to specify CLS for classification. We can then run the program again and see the results. We should have saved it up here. So now we have the classify tab. Again, we just have these runs here for every time we do a four pass and a prediction with our model. And this is the specific task that we are running. So classify, detect segment. Now we should see our examples. So right now we're detecting this is act like a mini bus, trolley bus, street car, police van, uh, and also like here an ampy van. But again, this is true that this is act like a mini bus, could actually like just be like a standard bus as well. But it classifies this image as a bus, most likely because the largest object is the bus and it is the most in focus. So classification could be used for like binary tasks like classifying if this is good or not good, defect or not defect, where like if you want to detect specific objects, we should use optic detection models or segmentation models. So the last model here that we're going to run is basically just our um, post estimation. So we just specify post and now we can go in and run it directly. We should now get the poses of the people walking around in front of the bus. Let's go up into our post, the bus. And now we can see we do post estimation of all the people that we're detecting in the zone or like in our image. We get the bounding box. We get a confidence score of the person that we're detecting as well, but now we also get these key points for like the eyes, nose, ears, shoulders, elbows, hands, knees, hips, and also the feet. So to run tracking here, let's do tracking on a segmentation model. Then we can just go down and have our model instead of our predict method. We will then have our track method and we should just be able to run optic tracking with this single change. So now we're just going to specify a source here, which will be a YouTube video. So now we're running the program here, we should be able to see the results. So this is going to open up one of the YouTube videos that we have on the channel on how to act like train a custom optic detection model with Ultralytics. So now we can see that we're actually like having, having an ID as well. So we assign ID one, then we can track the objects. We get an ID. We also get the confidence score and then we can track it over time. So this is really cool. Now we can track objects over time as well. This can be used for a lot of cool applications and projects. We're going to see it in one of the upcoming videos where we're going to create a project 
with counting windows. So you can basically just count people, like track people moving around and count them in different regions, but it could also be other different kinds of objects. So thank you guys for watching this video here. I hope you'll learn a ton and how to use these tasks with Ultralytics. Definitely go check out the other videos here in our playlist. You'll learn all about Ultralytics and how to use Jewel V8 for different tasks, modes, and so on. So thank you again for watching. See you in the next one. Bye for now.